Hi, this is Lou Graham, and you're watching The Metal Voice. Hello everyone, this is Neil Turbin with The Metal Voice and you're looking at the one and only amazing Lou Graham, original singer from Foreigner, Black Sheep, and also today he'll be inducted into the Metal Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Lou. Thank you. I think that's awesome. I think it's so well deserved. I mean, honestly, I was a little stunned when I heard about it. I tried to make sense of it, but it actually does make sense, doesn't it? I know that it makes sense because for, for one, I do know that um, you know Black Sheep was a band that, of course, you were in, and you can tell us about it uh, in terms of you guys were a heavy rock band. Heavy rock band, definitely. So you weren't Foreigner. You were in Black Sheep. Yes. I mean, Foreigner, you were in after. Yes. And uh, I noticed something about Black Sheep that I thought was kind of uh, interesting. I don't know if this is something that uh, is consistent with your thoughts, but... I saw this photograph on YouTube, and it was like just the the cover photo of maybe one of the albums or a back cover of Black Sheep, and it looked to me like the first Foreigner album. The, the uh, really image that you guys had, you, like you guys were were there in height, like it started off with the smallest guy to the tallest guy. So I just wonder if that was an influence. Well, you know who the smallest guy was. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, I don't think it was. It was uh, not an intentional. Nothing intentional. I mean, I, I'm going to look at it, uh, and and I'll tell you my thoughts about it again later. I had never thought about that, but boy, wouldn't that be something? Well, there's that, and also some of the songs I thought were, uh, you know, like halfway home, and uh, a little, a little, a little or a lot. lot. I love That's that. That's an song. awesome song. And I thought when I heard that song, like, wait a second, you know, Lou Graham was singing. In the same kind of time frame, that was what, 74, was it? 74. And it was in the same time frame as Deep Purple. Yep. And that would have been probably, I'm thinking David Coverdale was in the band then, I'm yes, thinking. Yes, he was. And then also, um, the, uh, you know, Paul Rogers. Yeah, in Free. Out of Free, yeah. Yes. Or maybe still in Free. Still in Free, I, th I think. Or that, that might have been the beginning of Bad Company, I'm not sure. Yeah, so you guys were kind of in that same element of sorts you know not not exactly the same but nope. I mean your voice is unmistakable I mean it's kind of like uh, you know you hear that voice and it's like well that's foreigner no that's Lou Graham it's like but your voice to me is foreigner it is it, it's that I mean I appreciate that I mean Thank when you. they got you in foreigner I mean that was like the money you know that was like they hear your voice it's like they see dollar bills you know I mean that's for the radio well uh, uh, someone had the vision it was Mick, obviously, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I, I was always proud to be in for him, you know, uh, for the most part. Well, you, you commanded a lot of hit songs. I mean, there's, there's uh, you know, I, I wrote it on a social media the other day when someone was saying, why is, you know, why is Lou Graham in the Metal Hall of Fame? Is it is just like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? He's like, no, this is totally different. This is not based on, you know, uh, popularity trends and social engineering this is based on actual earning you know belonging and people making a decision that said Lou deserves to be here and I, I'm totally behind you on that and I think uh, you know you're a huge influence on my singing background and I feel like you know you told me about your singing background we had a chance to talk before yes, I remember. 2012 yep. and you told me that um, one of your favorite uh, singers was Aretha Franklin. Yes, it was. Is there any other singers that you might, you know, kind of add to that in Marvin terms of... Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye? Yes. What about in the rock genre? Is there anyone that was kind of... Uh, John Lennon, for sure. Okay. Yep. Uh, um, what about some of the guys like the, the rockabilly guys or any of the... Uh, 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 Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly. Yeah, absolutely Buddy Holly. Matter of fact, there's a song on 4 and 4... Uh, 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 called Luann. Did you ever hear it? You know what? I have heard it, but I can't remember that I heard and, it. That's and, the and it's just a slight, slight takeoff on, on not a particular Buddy Holly song, but his style. How amazing. 
Well, thanks for sharing that, Lou. That's uh, okay, cool. We love those little uh, tidbits of information. Yeah, check it out. And uh, so, so what are you up to these days? I know you're playing with Tony Franklin in your band. I just, yes. I just messaged with Tony. I was hoping he would be here, but he told me he wasn't. But. I guess he wasn't, gonna, he wasn't able to make it tonight. But you're here, so that's amazing. Yeah, I was looking forward to seeing Tony, but, but I'll be seeing him soon. Now, I like playing with him. We, got, we, have, a, we have a strong band. Yes. Yep, and and uh, we're working on some new songs right now. So there's a possibility there might be some new material released before the end of this conference. New material, that's yes. amazing. Yes. Well, we look forward to hearing that because uh, I'm sure somehow that's going to end up on the radio, in my opinion. Let, let's hope, you know. If there still is a radio these days with yes, yeah, the yeah, internet, right. with, the, with the streaming services and all that. It's, it's uh, pr pretty homogenized. Yeah, and, and so uh, so you're still out there touring too. You're out there playing yeah, shows. Yeah, we've got a lot of shows this year. A lot of congratulations. Shows. Yep, thanks. Uh, I'm excited about so, you know, with a new band and and, and and new music. That's what it takes. Uh, a good a good creative band and new music, and, and suddenly it's your your lifeblood is surging again. You know.